From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith, heading into the first weekend of that 14-day lockdown in place in Cat Island, parts of Andros, and parts of the Barry Islands. Health officials trying to control recent outbreaks of the coronavirus in those areas, and this is why they felt they needed to make that move. On the Barry Islands, there are 24 active cases on Bullocks Harbor. On the island of Andros, there were nine new cases reported in a single day. This is significant. On Cat Island, there are 33 active cases of the COVID-19 virus. 109 residents are in quarantine. Seven of the 13 persons on investigation tested positive. Today. Dr. Marceline Dal Regis is head of the Corona Response Team. She says they're using contact tracing and an aggressive vaccination plan to try and control those outbreaks. There's another increase in confirmed cases on the Wednesday dashboard, a total of 62, up from the 25 reported for Tuesday and the 18 reported for Monday. 45 of Wednesday's cases in the capital, 16 in Grand Bahama, one in Cat Island. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials watching the hospital numbers closely heading into the weekend. 47 persons in, with four of them in the ICU. 229 total deaths now after three more were reported for Wednesday. Latest victims are 100-year-old New Providence woman, a 46-year-old Andros man, and a 34-year-old New Providence woman all died on May 25th. House members now looking over the budget numbers in preparation for the start of the next step in that process. Debate begins in the House next week. The new budget projecting a deficit of around $1 billion for the fiscal year coming. That is concerning for some analysts. Financial Secretary Marlon Johnson agrees. He says it's a cause for concern, but not for alarm. He says the deficits are temporary. Five new Supreme Court judges appointed to help deal with the increasing volume of work. Juanita Lewis-Johnson, Jeannie Weish-Gomez, Andrew Forbes, Neil Brathwaite, and Camille Darville gomez get the appointments. Final farewell for former MP Sir Charles Carter. His body lying in state at the House of Assembly earlier today, allowing the public to pay tribute. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Clear skies tonight, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 71 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the seas three feet or less. Low tide now, the next high around 11 this evening. Saturday's forecast, mostly sunny, highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, finally, there's a significant drop in coronavirus cases in India, and some states are now preparing to ease lockdowns beginning as early as Monday. But health officials there are warning that the pandemic is not over and safety protocols should be maintained. British Prime Minister Johnson fending off criticism from his former top advisor over his handling of the coronavirus in England before that country got it under control. The government in the Congo monitoring that volcano there, which has erupted and already has forced thousands to flee their homes. It's not clear yet where they will end up. Sports Notes now, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's plenty on TV for you to see. Soccer is always there, and Major League Baseball is on now. Jazz and the Marlins opening a weekend series against the Red Sox in Boston. The NBA playoffs continue tonight. Three games on the schedule, the Knicks in Atlanta, Brooklyn, and Boston. 
on the Clippers in Dallas. John Quill in the Sun at home tonight against Washington in the WNBA. Golf on TV also the senior PGA event is on this week. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper back on the streets Monday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com.